Hi everyone, it's Maisie at the Confidence Stitch, back again to show you some new quilting cotton we have in the store. Um, we're just about to spring here, and in a fabric store, that means we get a lot of pretty new fabrics. So let me show you some of them right now. I'll switch over to my overhead camera. So the first collection I'm going to show you is called Tales from Under the Moon. Um, it's an RGR collection, and Tales is spelled T-A-I-L-S, and you'll see why in a second. It's really gorgeous, it was a studio collab, and it kind of has an old world aesthetic with little hints of silver and gold. So the first fabric in this collection is called Etoile in silver, which means star in French. So you can see that it's like completely a metallic print. And then of course we have Etoile in gold. This one is one of my favorites. I just think it's so pretty. And so then next up is Tall Tales, also spelled T-A-I-L-S in slate and you can see there's little foxes and stars and it kind of has this storybook aesthetic to it which i really like and so there's the slate and then there's the lavender colorway aren't these foxes cute and then onto my favorite fabrics in the collection moon magic and amethyst and then there's also in midnight and so you can see this is the gold metallic and then the midnight has the silver metallic so it kind of goes with the different etoile basics but just really fun and kind of autumnal the collect or sorry the um pattern i'm suggesting to go with this is well so first let me say rjr has a few quilt suggestions they've got their old mill path quilt pattern which is a missouri star quilt company pattern and then there's um, Solar Eclipse, which is by Elizabeth Hartman. And so I kind of decided to pick a pattern that was my favorite of those two combined. And it's from, this is from um, So Kind of Wonderful's Mini Wonderful Curves book. And she has this really pretty October eaves pattern. And it's kind of these leaves that curve, but there's also some hard angles, which kind of, I think, combines the two of the quilts you just saw. There's a good use of negative space, like in the, um, solar Eclipse, and also Super Fall, and I really think that this collection kind of would speak super well to this pattern. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking for that. The next collection we have, whoops, sorry, gotta get my hands on it, is designed by um, Giuseppe Rubato, who which you know as Juicy Juice. This is called Fabric from the Attic. It's a blender collection that he designed to go with some of his other new collections. We have carried some of his um, Deco blender fabrics and we love them so much that we thought, oh, we really wanna get this one too. So this one is called Limoncello. I don't know if you can see, but it has a really light kind of lattice pattern in there in white, super pretty, really geometric and kind of jewel tones. That's sort of Juicy Juice's signature. This next one is called Tuxedo in Chrysanthemum. Really nice. And then there's another colorway that we have called Tuxedo in Purple really pretty. And then on to one of my favorites, which is called Buttons in Allium. And it's really pretty kind of circular geometric. It makes me think of like a, a really old fashioned tiled floor or something like that. It's super pretty. And this last one is called Buttons in Soft Turquoise. And I don't know if you can see, so I pick it up for you, but this has like a yellow and a navy component really lightly in there. And it just adds a lot of depth to this fabric. The pattern I'm suggesting is Cats in Space, which is, this is an Elizabeth Hartman pattern. And um, we've kind of done some playing around before with Juicy Juice patterns and, or um, fabrics and Elizabeth Hartman patterns. And I just think they complement one another really well because Elizabeth Hartman is kind of known for working with solids when it comes to her fabric. She, um, she also obviously designs her own fabrics, but I think that Juicy Juice's aesthetic really goes well with this. So anyway, I think that would be a super fun combination. Okay, next up is called, this collection is called Little Matryoshka, um, which means little matron or Russian nesting doll. Um, this is a Lewis and Irene collection, and you can kind of tell from the pattern. It's just super sweet. We've got these lovely little birds and kind of this feels like a Russian painted design to me. It's kind of got an old classiness to it. Um, this next one, oh, I'm sorry. The first one I showed you was birds, birds and floral in cream. And this one is called 
um, Matryoshka in dark red. So we've just got all the little different nesting dolls on there. I like it. Um, they did a good job giving all the nesting dolls different colored hair and um, different bright colors in their clothes. So you could use a lot of different basics to match with this fabric. And then the last one is called, um, this is the Matryoshka border print in cream. So this is what half of it looks like. Sorry, there's a, a gingham underneath, but that you there's not a gingham in this fabric. It's just light white, so it's showing through. So it's this cute border print, and it um, mimics that on the other side. So if I had a whole um, yard here or half yard, you would see it on both sides. And you could, of course, make a super cute quilt out of this collection. But I also think it would be really fun to make an apron out of this with a contrasting pocket because you could really experiment with the border print at the bottom of the apron and you could make a contrasting pocket out of this dark red or whatever you wanted. So that might be a fun thing that would, I don't know, maybe inspire you. So let's switch gears a little bit. And next we're going on to the Meander collection. This is a Moda collection designed by Anila Hui. Um, it's kind of as close to children's prints as we tend to get, but it's really whimsical. It has sweet um, designs on it, and it's this, this really interesting orange and blue pattern. So first, you can see this fun blue gingham, and then we've got the orange gingham. These are just nice basics in the collection, followed by um, sorry, story time in cloud and geranium. We love a print that has kind of words on it. It just makes for a really dynamic basic and kind of this fun scrawled cursive. And we got it on this orange, two orange tones. And then we move on to some of the more fun ones. This is Sly as a Fox in Navy. You can see all the little cute foxes and um, these flowers. I should know what kind of flowers these are. They kind of are not like bluebells, but if you're if you're a gardener, you can chime in and let me know what kind of flowers those remind you of. But we've got it in navy, and then we have it in denim, and then the last one is saddle, so this kind of orange color. And I looked up on uh, Moda to see what kind of patterns they were suggesting, and Anila actually designed a few things. There's her canopy by Clark Street quilt. And then there's also her Nova Star quilt. And then she's also got this flip pocket folio that she designed. And she shows it in a few different ways, but she just uses her fabric. And it's kind of a little sewing kit, but it folds up flat. And the way she uses the gingham in there is really pretty and fun. So I thought that that was just a really fun project that's not a quilt that's good to know about. And so um, my suggestion, oh, you know what? I forgot, I have one more fabric here in this collection. I'm gonna leave this one here so you can see that this is Field Day in Cloud. And here, let me pick it up because it's a white on white. But yeah, another fun way to have a basic that's not too obtrusive, but that is really dynamic. And the pattern I'm suggesting for this collection is Effervescence. It's a Studio 180 pattern. What what I liked about it is the way they show it, it kind of has this ombre effect, which um, lends itself to the quilts that Anila designed. And also there's kind of a star aesthetic in the middle here, which I think is another fun thing that worked when she tried it with her collections. You can also, of course, look up her quilt patterns and get those online. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking for Meander. Okay, now we're going to um, interrupt this programming to talk about some really fun basics. Um, Ruby Star has this, their metallic speckled basics. And every time we get a new one, I think, mm, I love that. And so I just wanted to take a second and kind of show you guys what we've got going. We've got a few new colors. This first one is called speckled metallic in purple velvet. And I'm going to pick it up so you can kind of see. But there's these really gorgeous golds in there. And then also this kind of splatter in a red and then a lighter purple. And it just gives this fabric such depth. The next one is called Cactus for colors. And um, the gold is much more subtle here, but there's some pink and some red. And then we've got denim. And this has like a copper metallic, which is so pretty. We got this dark blue and light blue. And then we go on to Clementine. And this has kind of a bright orange and a gold. And then lastly is um, burnt orange, actually, which yeah, you can tell because it goes so well with this one. And so I just wanted to point these out to you guys because 
I really like them. And they go with so many things, just with the fabrics we've already looked at alone. Like, look at how well this burnt orange one goes with the sly as a fox in denim and navy. You know, even though they're not the same designers even, it just really pulls that in super well. And then also, if we look at the whoop, purple velvet here and how that kind of goes with this Lewis and Irene fabric, really just a, a super fun touch. And then my last favorite combination was this moon. We got these sparkles here. And I thought that that went really well with this denim. You kind of just, all the coppery and gold that's in here suddenly gets pulled out because you have this really fun basic with this. And we also carry this basic in some wide backs, 108 inch wide back. We have a turquoise, a black, and a berry. So those are really fun. And again, just something that you could stockpile and then pull out and throw on the back of any quilts. Same with these basics. It's just kind of a thing that it might be fun to add to your collection. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a closer look at those fun fabrics. And let's move on to Darlings 2. This is a Ruby Star collection, and it's actually a reboot of some of their most popular prints. So they've pulled in designers Melody Miller, um, Alexia Marcella Abeg, Rashida Coleman-Hale, Sarah Watts, and Kim Kite. And so they just pulled their best-selling patterns and changed the colors to make a new collection. And it's really fun. This first one is called Squiggles in Denim. Just fun. There's nothing really else to say about it. It's just a fun fabric. And then next we have Fields of Flowers and Cream. Um, I really like this block printing aesthetic. Um, I'm not quite sure who designed it, but if I had to guess, I think it was probably um, Alexia Marcella because she does a lot with block printing, but I'll have to check. We'll see if I'm right later. And then we have um, fungi in black. This one's fun because there is a black background, but the pink almost seems neon the way it pokes out. And then we also have it in denim. Really fun, kind of trippy, if you will. And then we go on to my, some of my favorites in this collection, which are Octopoda in Bluebell. Um, I remember when they came out with this print the first time and I loved it so much. So this, these octopus have some pink in them. And then Octopoda in metallic berry. So this has a gold metallic in it. And then last up is Octopoda in metallic parchment. And this also has gold in it. So some sad news, the bluebell and the berry were actually out of the yardage because you may have forgotten, but we're having our semi-annual sale right now. And so two people came in and scooped those up, but we do still have a few fat quarters laying around. So if you have your heart set on it, you can come in and grab those. And if there's enough interest, we might reorder them. Um, some of the patterns suggested by Ruby Star and Moda, they have, it's called King's Dash. And it's this really cool geometric thing. And so then I went and looked at our collection and I thought, oh, this Odyssey quilt pattern by Ren Collective, which is pretty new, is super similar. And I thought you could get a similar aesthetic out of this pattern. So that's what I was thinking for Darlings too. So you'll have to tell me what you guys think of that. Okay, now, I'm going to show you some new shot cottons. We always have shot cottons on hand from K Facet. We love them. If you don't know, a shot cotton is when the warp and the weft threads of the fabric are blended together to kind of create some dimension. It's like a chambray. A lot of times it's like a blue and a white, but Kaif is really well known for doing that with some funky colors. And so first I'm going to show you some stripes. We haven't had Kaif stripes in a little bit. So this is a shot cotton. And if I'm gonna pull it up really close, and I, I wonder if you can see, but it's got pink and green in here, and then also like a, another light pink and some blue to create this purple. So you just see all these colors that come out of it. And when you're holding it in person too, as you turn it, it's got like an iridescence to it. So this is super fun. And then we also carry it. So this one is butterscotch and this one is apple. And so kind of a bright green with blue and some purple that makes it kind of pink. Um, I don't know if you noticed at the beginning, but there's a quilt behind me right now that was designed, or sorry, made by um, Chris Milo Dragovich. She, she's one of our locals and she's an excellent quilt maker. And she just used a bunch of different cave stripes. So this pattern looks way more complicated than it is, but she just did triangles 
out of stripes, and then you get this really dynamic pattern. So anyway, I just want to let you know that we have some stripes back in stock, and this is a great project to do with that. Um, and now I'll just show you some of our uh, plain <laughs> shot cottons. This first one is called Bloom. And again, it's like a blue and a pink crossway, and then it makes purple, which makes sense because that's how we mix primary colors, right? But when you're looking at it in fabric, it's so interesting to see how you can do that. Even though it's not paint, it mixes still. And then I also have Glacier. This one's so pretty. It's just got a little light green in it, really. So fun. Every one of us, when we saw this, we were like, ooh, so we're excited about that. And then last is Dawn. This is actually a little bit on the tamer side. It is kind of a white and light purple. So a little more basic for Cave, but nonetheless, still really pretty. So anyway. If you are a Kaif lover and a shot cotton lover, just so you guys know about that, we also have some other colors that we've had for a while, so you can check those out. Okay, now we're going to move on to Paisley Rose, which is a Moda collection designed by Crystal Manning. Um, when interviewed, Crystal said that she loves flowers, birds, cheerful colors with a vintage vibe. And that is exactly how I describe this Paisley Rose collection. So I think she really infused herself into it. This is called, this first one's called Delicate Paisley in Petal. It's kind of got um, like a, a negative, like when you take a photo and then you look at the negatives and there's kind of this stark contrast. This is what this reminds me of a little bit. So this is in Petal. And this is in golden. And then we'll move on to Paisley Bouquet in Horizon. Isn't this fun? And then Dancing Daisies in Petal and Melon. And then last up is Navy. There's something kind of cafish about these prints too, I think. She kind of honed in on that quirky, fun aesthetic. Um, the patterns that have been suggested for this collection they have some really pretty ones out there but these were both designed by crystal there's day tripper and then oops, sorry rachel's looking for it whoop might not be able to show it to you that's okay but um what about falling stars you have that one yeah okay cool so you guys can see how she pulled that together it looks so great and so what i thought i would suggest is this studio 180 summer blossoms quilt pattern just really pretty oh you can play with kind of the where you want the color to show and just show off all these really great prints the other good thing is they're all small in scale so you'll have room to show them off in a shape like this okay next we're gonna i'm gonna show you some bolts again we've got some Elizabeth Hartman fabrics. These are called her kitchen window ginghams. So if you know Elizabeth Hartman, you know, like I showed you the pattern of Cats in Space earlier, and she loves bright, bold, springy colors and kind of near solids, I would say. She, um, all her fabrics kind of have a, a close to basic aesthetic so that you can really mix all those colors but still see the design she's creating because a lot of times she's, show, she's creating animals or plants or something like that. So you want to still show it up, but she's started making this gingham, which is like kind of solid, but also so fun. So this color is called orange aid. It's got some like pinks in there. This one's watermelon. This one is pickle. It's so funny. She uses the term pickle a lot when she's naming fabrics and I like that. And then the last up is sage, which is so pretty and dynamic. It's got some pickle aesthetic in there. So obviously all of these go beautifully together and you could essentially use any Elizabeth Hartman pattern you wanted for it but I really like this greenhouse one I think like you could do a ton with the ginghams within these plants and stuff like that so that's what I'm thinking and now we're going to move on to a Wyndham collection that we just got and we tell you guys see this it's so pretty there we go. So this is called Florissimo in dark blue. It's from the Eden collection, which was designed by Sally Kelly. And when I was looking it up, um, Sally kind of summed it up in two words. She said the words I'd use to describe it are opulent and effervescent. And I think that nothing could be truer. It's great because you get all these bright, beautiful mix of colors. And when you're close up, it's like, what am I looking at? But then the farther you get away, you start to see like the hummingbird and the flowers and all these things. And she's got some great basics to go with it. So 
This is called Swirl of Hearts in Red. I love this type of basic too. We've had stuff like this in the past and it always sells like hotcakes, but you can see how well it complements the kind of main show. And then this other fabric is called Florissimo in Cream, equally pretty. And then last up is, whoop, if I can get my fingers on it, Swirl of Hearts in Green, really nice. And so I'm thinking of a few things for this. Um, Natalie Crabtree has a free PDF um, called Dove Love, and it's so pretty and swirly. And it, I mean, it's a masterpiece in and of itself. And I thought, oh, that would be great. So on a basic level, I think you could make the cutest pillowcases out of this fabric. Use this as your main fabric. This is your cuff fabric. And same with this one and this one. And you could have a whole little set. It'd be cute as could be. But I also think that the Posh Blossom pattern is really similar to that dove love and kind of swooping and, and big swaths so you can really see the fabric and I think this would be a great option for this collection. Okay, whew. so I've just got one more thing to show you if you'll hold on for just a second. We got some cave wide backs earlier this week and let me tell you, oh, they're beautiful. So these are 108 inches. Um, this one is called Lotus Leaf in purple. You guys have probably recognized some of these patterns. He's carried them before. But something about um, Free Spirit Widebacks is they're so, so soft. You know, it's actually not just them. Ruby Star does this too. But it's kind of a new thing where the thread count on their Widebacks is just a little higher. And so it's really soft, which means, I mean, obviously, if you were under a quilt made for a Wideback like this, it'd be luxurious. But um, it makes it kind of better for clothing than a normal quilting cotton would be. And Kate saw these and immediately thought, ooh, I want to make a shirt out of that. So we've got this one. And then I have the same Lotus pattern in Jade. Ugh, isn't that nice? We had a gal come in today and she had a cape quilt and she was like, oh, this is the one. It's perfect. And then this last one is the Millefiori in Pastel. Again, patterns I'm sure you've seen before, but it's great that they now come in this wider print. And this is the one that Kate thought, mm, I really need to make a top out of that. So be on the lookout because she's super interested in that. So, whew. Well, you guys, that's all I have for you. I know it's like rapid fire, but I hope you find it inspiring. It's always great for me to get to go through our fabrics and think about what I could make out of them. It's really exciting. And um, as I mentioned earlier, we're still having our semi-annual sale. So the whole store is 20% off right now. Anything you could want, 20% off. And um, it goes through midnight on Sunday. So you have till the 10th. It goes online, but also in store. Sunday we're closed. So if you have to do any last minute shopping, you'll have to be online. But if you're local, we'd love for you to come in and ask questions and take a look at these fabrics. And I hope you found this inspiring and that you're enjoying the kind of nice weather. It did snow last week, but it's pretty sunny today. So if you're in Missoula, I hope you're enjoying that. And we'll see you soon. Thanks, you guys.